Orphans follow their dreams and head to Paris in the new animated film, Leap. Welcome back to another episode of How's Hollywood Reviews. My name's Russell, and if you haven't already, uh, to subscribe to this channel, click the subscribe button down there and click the bell icon. You'll get notified when I release new information like new uh, movie trailers, new movie reviews, new top 10, anything new on the channel, you'll get notified first thing. And if you haven't already, please uh, go ahead and like it, comment, anything you can do to possibly help this channel grow. I truly appreciate it. Tell a friend, recommend a friend that enjoys movies and is passionate about movies as much as I am. Uh, recommend them. The Tell movie them. I'm reviewing this week is Leap. It is a new animated feature. It's rated PG and its runtime is 89 minutes long. It stars Ellie, Ellie Fanning, who plays Felici. Uh, Dane Duhon, who plays Victor. He's also in the new movie Valerian. And Carly Rae Jepsen, who plays Odette, and she is a singer. It's directed by Eric Summer and Eric Warren. And a little bit about the movie. It's set in early 1900s uh, Paris, France. Um, Felice and Victor are orphans, and they Victor has this idea that they need to escape the orphanage and go to Paris to pursue their dreams. Felice loves dancing, uh, ballet dancing, and Victor likes to invent things and fix things. So he wants to be a, a big inventor, and she wants to pursue her dreams in the ballet world. Well, he has this idea that they should leave the orphanage and escape and go to Paris, France. So they do that, and it's just the turn of the century because you can see the Eiffel Tower being constructed, and you can also see the Statue of Liberty being built. So they escape, and the only thing that Felice has that actually motivates her to pursue her dreams is a little music box that has a ballet uh, dancer inside and it plays music and she has fond memories of this when she was a younger child and this really helps her pursue her passion and to really really believe uh, what she really wants to do with her life. Felice runs into a uh, an older lady named Odette who's played by Carla Rae Jepsen and we find out that Odette used to be a ballet dancer herself and she was a very very good one from what we find out. Well, with a little guidance from Odette, Felice and Odette uh, form a, a friendship, and Felice helps Odette clean because Odette, now that she has injured herself and she can't dance like she once was able to, they, uh, Odette ends up cleaning houses. So she cleans the house of this rich bureaucratic um, uh, woman, and she has a daughter who's also trying to get into the Paris Opera Ballet that she finds out. Well, a letter comes in the mail while um, Felice's character is, is, is working or leaving, leaving the house, and she takes it. Well, it was um, a letter saying that um, Odette's daughter, Camille, ended up making the Paris Opera Ballet. Well, Felice ends up taking the letter and, pose, and poses as Camille to have a shot to finally follow her dream and become a ballet dancer. Well... Um, Odette ends up finding out about it and says that she will mentor her and try to help her and, and try to like really, she sees a lot of passion in her and she sees a lot of her former self in Felice. So she agrees to help Odette, she, she, Odette agrees to help Felice train and so she goes through this rigorous training and, and ballet dancing and stuff like that. And basically the... The movie ends up going to uh, the Paris Opera Ballet. They're opening a, they're doing a play, The Nutcracker, and they have only one spot for the lead role. So it ends up being that she she's in competition with five or six other girls to pursue her dream and end up being a ballet dancer. So that's basically the um, the uh, movie in a nutshell. The movie was very very good. It was very. It was very predictable. It was a very predictable storyline and everything, but it was it was it was fresh. Um, I took my daughter to go see it, and she enjoyed it. And you know, I, I really enjoyed it too. It had a, a really good message about not giving up on your dreams, following what really is in your heart, 
And I think that's important for kids nowadays. So I really believe that the strong message that this animated movie has is never sell yourself short. Always pursue your goals. Always pursue your dreams and aspirations. So I really, I really commend the, um, the directors for making a movie like that because it's very important that children realize the, you know, the importance of following their dreams. So overall, I would recommend it. I would give it a 71 out of 100. Like I said, it was not bad. Um, it moves very fast. It's a very short movie. Um, everybody in it was very, very good. It was nice. Um, it was really pretty to see Paris in the early 1900s, and it was very, very fresh to see that. More importantly, have you guys seen Leap yet? Do you have kids that are, are wanting to see this? Have you seen it already? What do you think? Uh, is it going to be a... Uh, is it going to be a really good movie? Leave the comments down there in the comment section. Comment, like, anything you can do. And join us next time when we bring you another review here at House Hollywood Reviews. And until then, we'll see you in Hollywood.